Former AEW World Tag Team Champions, the Lucha Brothers have reportedly signed multi-year deals with WWE and will be heading straight to the main roster, skipping NXT in the process. Speaking of contracts, Kevin Owens reportedly has been approached about signing a new deal with WWE. However, AEW does hold interest in the former Universal Champion. Janelle Grant's legal team says that she is a victim and a survivor and not a WWE storyline ahead of the Vincent Mann Netflix documentary series dropping next week. Speaking of the aforementioned series, we have the internal reaction action from some within WWE. Jeff Hardy pays tribute to the late Bray Wyatt, specifically his character The Fiends last night on TNA Impact. Two NXT talents compete for the Knockouts Tag Team Championships. Jordan Grace will be teaming up with an NXT superstar next week on Impact. Former WWE star Zaya Lee will be making her debut on TNA Impact next week. Plus, AW star Rebel has a positive surgery update. Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestling News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Let's begin with big story regarding the future of former AEW World Tag Team Champions Penta El Zero Miedo and Ray Phoenix, collectively known as the Lucha Brothers, because two AEW stars are seemingly poised to join WWE after a new report has revealed that departments within the organization have begun work related to them. Some time ago, talk emerged regarding the Lucha Brothers, Penta El Zero Miedo and Ray Phoenix appearing to be on their way out of All Elite Wrestling. Now, according to WrestleVotes Radio, a deal between WWE and the Lucha Brothers has likely been reached or is at least very, very close. The report notes that the marketing and merchandise departments within WWE have been, quote, given the green light, end quote, to produce, quote, masks, t-shirts and promotional material for the duo. Those departments have begun creating concept designs for Ray Phoenix and Penta El Zero Miedo in WWE, according to the reports, leading to the conclusion that a deal is close, if not completed. And per another report from Corey Hayes of PW Nexus, the pair are said to be signing a multi-year deal and going, quote, straight to the main roster in lieu of a stint in NXT. While Cody Rhodes, Andrade El Idolo, CM Punk and Jade Cargill went directly from AEW to the WWE main roster, others have made the switch and are actually going over to NXT in the process. We've seen the likes of Ethan Page, uh, Brian Pillman Jr., Lexis King and others go from AEW to NXT, Sean Spears as well. Now, speaking of contracts, a bit of an update here when it comes to former WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens, because WWE is trying to get ahead uh, some up-and-coming contracts expiring. Fight Force Alexa Sean Ross Sapp has confirmed a PW Insider report this week that WWE had approached a number of talent about re-signing ahead of their deals expiring. This method is a far cry from what we've seen throughout the good part of the year. In one case, Damian Priest's deal was set to expire right around the time he renewed with the company. Specifically, a WWE source has told Fightful that Kevin Owens has been approached for a new contract. Fightful have been told that Owens has not signed a new deal as of yet, but communication has indeed been made. His contract is expected to be up at the end of the year. Those that Fightful spoke to in AEW said the company had long had major interest in bringing Owens in when and if he is available. They're expected to make him an offer if he does indeed reach free agency. WWE have re-signed Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Seth Freakin' Rollins, Natalia, Humberto Carrillo, Angel Gaza, Cedric Alexander, Nikki Cross and numerous other talents so far in 2024. Now, a bit of an update when it comes to the Janelle Grant lawsuit against WWE, John Laurinaitis, and Vince McMahon. As we get closer to the premiere of Netflix's Mr. McMahon documentary about disgraced former WWE chairman Vince McMahon, who stands accused of sexual abuse, harassment, and trafficking by former legal assistant Janelle Grant, Grant's attorney has hired a PR firm to make sure her story and allegations are still heard amidst the noise of the upcoming series. Quote, Janelle Grant is a survivor of incomprehensible abuse, sexual assault, and human trafficking at the hands of Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and WWE, said Grant's attorney, Ann Callis, in a recent press conference ahead of the docuseries premiere. Quote, it takes immense strength to speak out against Goliaths, and she has courageously come forward, not just to address her own suffering, but also to act for those who are afraid to speak out. She is also a human being. She is smart, kind, and compassionate, but because of the extreme cruelty, degradation, exploitation, and violence she was subjected to on a near daily basis for nearly two years, she now suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder and the inability to leave her home for weeks at a time. 
Callis and the team hope the Netflix uh, docuseries will accurately cover McMahon's abhorrent actions, many of which were fodder for WWE television. That said, Callis was also quick to remind those in attendance that McMahon is not the be-all and end-all of the case. Quote, Through our lawsuit, we seek to hold all wrongful parties accountable, Mr. McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and WWE Callis said. Later in the press conference, Callis was asked how she wants Grant to be portrayed as the case against McMahon nears one year in January. Quote, Janelle Grant is a human being being, Callis reiterated. She deserves justice. She deserves her day in court. That's our bottom line. She's a victim and a survivor. She is not a WWE storyline. Now, speaking of the aforementioned Vince McMahon Netflix documentary series, we also have reaction from within WWE to the impending premiere on Netflix. The six-part docuseries Mr. McMahon premieres on Netflix on September 25th, and the wrestling world is eager to see exactly what gets covered in the show that aims to tell the life story of Vince McMahon. While the show has been in the works for many years, the darker side of McMahon's personal life right up to and including the ongoing Janelle Grant lawsuit will reportedly be covered to some extent, with people who have seen previews of the show already claiming that it's one of the biggest burials in wrestling history. On a recent episode of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer revealed that he was interviewed for the show, and while he doesn't know what the final product looks like, he knows the documentary crew was thorough. Quote, I can only say that the director who did it covered with me every single thing that I would expect someone to cover, Meltzer said. There were no stones unturned. What this has led to, according to Meltzer at least, is a feeling backstage in WWE that is quite negative, regardless of what people think of McMahon. Quote, I know that there are people who are in WWE who are not happy with it, Meltzer said. I don't know how fair it is to Vince, but there are people there. These are pro-Vince people who aren't happy. But if it was a fair documentary, how could they be? We'll see. But I am certain that people who are really, really anti-Vince will not be happy either. The reason for this uh, last, according to Meltzer, is because he expects the series to cover McMahon's entire life, meaning that his business acumen, the creation of WrestleMania, taking WWE public and other accomplishments will all get coverage in order to complete the story. Now, Jeff Hardy has paid tribute to the late Bray Wyatt on TNA Impact this week with his fiend face paint. Jeff Hardy paid tribute to Bray Wyatt on the September 19th episode of TNA Impact, painting his face like the fiend. Hardy appeared in multiple segments on TNA Impact, including teaming up with his brother Matt Hardy and Masha Slamovich in the main event against Tasha Steeles and The System. The Fiend was Bray Wyatt's alter ego that brought a dark side to the character. Though Bray and Jeff didn't work together in WWE, Bray worked with Matt Hardy as opponents and partners in 2017 and 2018. Now, speaking of TNA Impact last night, the crossover between TNA and NXT continues. Two of the young stars of the NXT Women's Division got their first opportunity at Tag Team Gold in a major promotion on the September 19th episode of TNA Impact. Kendall Gray and Carly Bright challenged Spitfire's Danny Luna and Jody Threat for the TNA Knockouts World Tag Team Championships on the September 19th episode of TNA Impact. Although the young challengers came up short, they put up a fight before losing to the combination Powerbomb from Spitfire. Kendall and Carly have wrestled a combined total of 54 matches in their respective careers thus far. They have appeared on NXT television as a unit and picked up some victories as a tag team at NXT live events in Florida. Now, speaking of this crossover between TNA and WWE NXT, it continued as I mentioned last night. The opening to the September 19th episode of TNA Impact erupted in chaos as Alicia Edwards called out Master Slamovich, blaming her for the loss of the TNA Knockouts World Tag Team Championship at TNA Victory Road. The verbal confrontation quickly turned physical as Masha revealed that she does speak English and understands that Edwards was berating her. This led to the system's Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards and Tasha Steeles coming out to help Alicia, while Matt Hardy, Jordan Grace and Jeff Hardy came to the aid of Slamovich. This chaos led to Santina Morella coming out to book the Hardys and Slamovich against Eddie Edwards, Brian Myers and Tasha Steeles for later on in the evening. As for Jordan Grace, she'll get the opportunity to settle the score with Rosemary and Wendy Chu, the liaison of NXT, Ariana Grace. Grace announced that she had booked a mystery NXT competitor to team with Grace against Wendy and Rosemary on the September 26th episode of TNA Impact. Concerning Alicia Edwards' absence from any direct physical activity that does not involve her swinging a kendo stick, she's still under concussion protocol. 
Now, Zaya Lee, the former WWE superstar, is set to make her TNA Impact debut next week. During the September 14 TNA Impact TV taping, Zaya Lee made her debut for the company under her new ring name. Prior to this, TNA Wrestling had revealed that the star was coming soon in a short video introducing her to the fans. Lee Ying Lee has now uh, now has an on-screen debut date, and it's September 26, 2024, with a new introductory video that was shared by TNA Wrestling. Uh, looks like indeed she's going to be debuting next week. She's been wor working under her real name since her WWE release in April of 2024. And finally, some positive news when it comes to AEW star Rebel. After being hospitalized due to pneumonia earlier this year, absent AEW star Rebel has now shared a positive surgery update. Rebel was last seen on AEW television screens back in November of 2021, teaming with Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter in a losing effort against TJ and Thunder Rosa. She would have a match on AEW Dark Elevation in June 2022, with further bouts in July and August on AEW Dark. February 2024 saw her return to the ring for GLCW, teaming with Harley Cameron, beating Gemma and Sophie Rose at the Beauties and the Beast 4 event. Recently, Rebel revealed that she was hospitalized in May of this year, with a mass being found on her lungs. The mass was revealed to be pneumonia, with a couple of CT scans, also finding some other minor issues that she said she would be taken care of. She recently shared an update on Instagram, revealing that she was put under anesthesia for the third time in four months, posting, quote, third time going under anesthesia in the past four months, and ungrateful surgery went well today. I'm on the mend and I'm excited for it. And best believe I'm watching AEW Dynamite tonight and you should too. But there you go, guys. That's latest pro wrestling news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe button right-hand corner. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.